guys. Okay, so first off, I want to say stay tuned to the end of the video because I have a little surprise at the end, but you got to wait till the end. Today, we're going to be doing my project pan update. What is this? 11? I think 11? I don't know. Uh, this was not a good month at all. I was in the process of moving and starting a new job. Things were hectic. I didn't wear a lot of makeup at all. I have two, technically three empties, but it's it was not a good makeup month at all. So the progress is going to be very, very small on some products. The first thing we can start off with is my empty product. And this is my Too Faced, oh, it's not the Too Faced Lip Injection. It's in the Too Faced Lip Injection. However, this is the, what is the brand? Physicians Formula Pop the Bubbly Mira Mira Whip Butter, I think it's called. It is gone, as you can see. I physically cannot scrape any more product out of here. The wand is wiped clean. I used the heck out of this thing. I would not repurchase it because it was the, t it, so it was a really creamy formula. It comes in a stick formula. It was super, super creamy and got everywhere. It tasted really bad. It melted to like trying to apply it. It was not good. I would not repurchase it. But yeah, that's an empty finally. And to replace it, I have the Bite Beauty, what is this, Goise Matte Cream Lip Crayon. There's just a little bit left and I just wanna use it up. The shade is really, really pretty. I think it's like the perfect time of year to use it up. And it's small to sample, I wanna do it. I have marked it down on a sheet of paper, which I will show you in a little bit because it's underneath everything and I don't wanna dig it out. I marked it on a piece of paper and that's how we'll continue to mark the progress. And then my technically two empties is my foundation. I used up both of my It Cosmetics Bye Bye foundation and my Misha BB cream. I, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but I can see through them. Like there's nothing here and there's nothing in the middle of here. These are completely gone. It was a one-to-one -one ratio, so I was able to use them both up at the same time. I like both of these and I definitely would repurchase these. However, I already have this one in a lighter shade, so that works out perfect. And this one I needed a darker shade, so I might, I'm gonna do that for sure. I love both of these. I'm just happy to have used them up because they were both pretty old. To replace that though, I have this. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth Foundation, Normal to Dry Skin in 110 Porcelain. I already marked it, it's all the way down here. We only have the tiniest bit left. And I definitely think I can use it all up. I love this foundation. By far, one of my absolute favorite drugstore foundations. It's an oldie but a goodie. It works wonders. And I want to use it up because I have another full bottle. I have a problem. And then the primer I have is the No Problem Priming Water by Touch and Soul. And as you can see, just, just tiny progress. I'll mark it real quick and you can see, but it's very little. So we were there. Now we're here. Like I said, I wore it maybe three times. Not very much progress at all. And then concealer, <sighs> we're getting there. The bottom is getting slower, but I wore this maybe twice. If we're getting somewhere. I need to wear this as foundation a few times and it'll be gone. But like I said, there's not gonna be much progress made on these products this month and I I'm mad at myself for that. Next, let's move on to powder. And for powder, the only powder I have is my Park Ave Princess Palette by Tarte. <sighs> Let me open this up, Jesus oh, Peach. These two shades, you'll see on the screen, not very much progress whatsoever. And then moving on to the bronzer, I did not even use this this month. So I don't even think there's going to be progress to show, but yeah, cool. I'm trying you guys it just October was an odd month and then another bronzer is my Hula Benefit bronzer I use this a handful of times so there should be some progress on it but not much hopefully this will be gone by the end of the year this is I'm really hoping to have this gone by the end of the year I think I can do it I'm gonna tell myself I can do it try to motivate myself here but I definitely think I can have that gone by the end of the year the blush uh, no 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 I won't even hit pan by the end of the year, and I don't know what to do with myself. I've been using that blush all year. All year. And then my two highlighters. The first one is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics, what is this, Crystal Ball. 
I'm making, I'm actually surprised at how big of a dent I've made in this thing. There's a lot of, there's a lot of product in here, so I'm very proud of myself. I definitely want to see how far I can get by the end of the year. And then I didn't even use this once. It's my So Susan Dream Maker Pop Star Highlighter. I didn't even use it once. I'm not going to mark it. I'm not going to do anything because when I bend it down, it's still at the exact same mark it was. So no point in even trying to remark it. Next, let's move on to my Benefit Highbrow. I've used this a few times. Not very much. I did already mark it just to make my life a little easier. But this fill, this halfway filled in line is where we were at. This solid black line is where we're at now. Just the tiniest bit of progress. That's, that's the theme for this month if you haven't noticed. And then you can see down here I marked the lip product as well. So there's not very much there. I definitely think it won't take me long to use it up. And then my NYX white eyeshadow base. Anytime I've worn eyeshadow, I've used this. So we're getting there. It's hard to see because it's a white on white. But I'm almost, I'm pretty close to hitting pan in one part. Like there's a little spot in the center that it looks like I'm close to hitting pan. So I'm excited about that. And then my Tarte Top Yacht Chrome Paint, I've worn maybe twice. It's such a pretty color though. I love this thing. Ugh, it's just so pretty. I wonder if I could try to use it as a highlight. Maybe it'd be a little too dark. I don't know, we'll see. And then my eyebrow product. I, anytime I've worn makeup and done my eyebrows, this is what I've used. So it got a decent amount of use because I did do just my eyes and eyebrows because work. I have to wear my mask, so sometimes I just do my eyes and eyebrows and I use this. I mean, we're getting somewhere. And then my setting spray. This is the In Beauty Project Power Up Dual Face Setting Mist. The line's pretty faded, but it's right here. And now we're down to here. I'm going to mark it real quick and you can see the progress. So we were up here, now we're down here. It doesn't take me long to use setting spray, so if I use this religiously, I could probably finish this up in a month. We are here. We're about halfway. About halfway. And the very last product is my Physician Formula Butter Paradise uh, Perfume. We were here, and now we're all the way down here with Market. This I still wore every time I left the house, so I made quite a bit of progress on it. The normal amount I would normally make, I can use this up and start another one this month. I am, I know myself, I know I can do it. Okay, you guys, so those are my Project Pan items. Let me know what you guys think. I love to hear your thoughts and opinions, but if you guys stayed along this long, I am going to be doing a giveaway. It's just going to be a little Ipsy bag full of makeup, uh, makeup, skincare, whatever's in here. I am, I'm trying, I want to do this more often because I have a lot of Ipsy bags and a lot of just smaller products. And I want to do just little random giveaways like this more often. Just giving back to you guys more often. So, this is what the bag looks like. It's just a little Ipsy bag. Open it up. It's got a Pixie Skin Treats T-Zone Peel-Off Mask. A Uni Calming Aromatherapy Mist. A few little sachets. This is a Fresh Rose Face Cream. And a face a Charcoal Aloe Face Mask. And then a facial scrub, along with a lip product by Mally, along with a Bella Pure HD finishing powder, a, what is this? Eva NYC Main Magic 10-in-1 Primer for your hair, a Native Yuzu and Orange Blossom deodorant, little sample, a Trisquique Mini Highlight Stick in Maldives Luminescent. A Hello Fab Pores Be Gone Matte Primer by uh, First Aid Beauty. And then last but not least, a Long Wear Primer by Unicorn Glow. So yeah, that is everything that's going to go in this little makeup bag. The only rules are you have to be subscribed. Number one, have to be subscribed. Number two, you have to give this video a like. Number three, you have to leave a way for me to get a hold of you down below. So your comment has to say something and then it has to have an Instagram handle, an email. Uh, if I have your phone number, say text me, call me, I don't care. Some way for me to get a hold of you if you win. That is pretty simple, three rules. Number one, be subscribed. Number two, like this video, and number three, leave a comment with a way for me to get a hold of you if you win. This giveaway 
will end. This giveaway will end on, you know what, let's make it spooky. This giveaway will end in just over a week, about a week and a half. And it will end on Friday the 13th. So, again, three rules. Number one, be subscribed. Number two, give this video a like. And number three, leave a comment down below, including some way for me to get a hold of you. If your comment does not have a way for me to get a hold of you, it will not be entered. And this video, or this giveaway will end on November 13th which is a Friday. But you guys, that is all. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.